bobcats, one of nature's most elusive creatures. They occupy many parts of North America and can even be found as far south as Mexico. Bobcats are extremely adaptable and thrive in many regions, landscapes, and territories. They are called bobcats because they have a short, bobbed-looking tail. Their tails are around 5 inches in length. Most wild cats have long tails that help them balance. Bobcats hunted mostly in open fields and did not evolve to have a longer tail. Big cat species could be traced back millions of years, and bobcats are part of that evolutionary lineage. They hunt mostly in open areas such as fields, forest meadows, and other areas where they can see their prey out in the open from a vantage point. The bobcat's known history in America can be traced back thousands of years. Historians believe they have found a mound in which a bobcat was ceremonially buried by native peoples who lived in the modern area of western Illinois. Evidence shows that even back then, Native Americans had already attempted to tame these wild cats. Bobcats are part of the lynx genus from the family Felidae. They are medium-sized big cats. Even though they are not as big as other large cats, such as cougars, they can still be a fierce force in the wild. Bobcat Ears Bobcats are part of the lynx family, and their ears are one of the most noticeable traits that they have besides their bobbed-looking tail. Felines are known for having excellent hearing. This is especially useful for wild cats, who count on their senses and instincts for survival. Even though they have a similar hearing range as humans, they can hear high-pitched noises much better. They can even hear high-pitched noises better than canines, such as dogs and foxes. Bobcats have very large ears that are pointed with small tufts of hair on the tips. Bobcat ears can be used as a way to identify whether or not the wild cat is a bobcat. It can help tell if it is a bobcat, a Canadian lynx, or a different kind of cat like a cougar or mountain lion. Mountain lions usually do not have the tufts. The tufts on a bobcat's ears are usually much shorter and not as pronounced as it is on other lynx relatives. Besides the tuft, bobcat ears look a lot like domestic cat ears from the front. From the back, however, bobcat ears have a pattern that looks like white eyes against dark fur. This phenomenon is called an eye spot, and many other cats, such as tigers, have this interesting spotting. It has also been speculated that bobcat kittens can see the white eyes from the back of their mother's ears at night to better follow. Their ears are usually a mix of colors, including black, white, orange, and yellow. The tufts are black on a bobcat, although sometimes it may not be quite as pronounced on some bobcats. Their ears, like other felines, also have little pockets on them called Henry's pockets. These little pouch-shaped pockets are thought to have several different uses, such as being able to hear high-pitched sounds, especially with kittens. Bobcats are usually coated with brown or red fur, with dark spots and banding all over their body. They weigh between 10 and 35 pounds and are around 20 to 50 inches in length and around 12 to 24 inches in height. Bobcat Tracks Bobcat tracks are 2 inches in length and 2 inches in width, with their front feet being larger than their hind feet. They look just a little larger than a domestic cat's footprints. Bobcats have 4 digits on each foot. You do not see their claws in their tracks because cats have retractable claws and they very rarely show an indentation. When it comes to animals that live in certain areas, tracks can be one of the best ways to identify them. The tracks will tell you a story of what type of animals are lurking around at night when no one else is there to see. Whether it's in the wild or on your own property, being able to identify what animals are present can be a very valuable skill. Hunters and trappers use animal tracks, as well as scat, to track what animals are in their territory. In the past, humans relied on these tracking skills for survival. 
Today, we still use these techniques to provide us with information. A bobcat's foot has four long, slightly pointed digits. Besides their four foot pads, they have a large carpal pad. The bobcat's prints are smaller than the print of a Canadian lynx or a mountain lion. Because they're related, both the bobcat and the Canadian lynx have many similarities, such as their dark banding and spots. However, they also have some key differences, such as the tufts on their ears, the black tips on their tails, and the size. Bobcats are much smaller than the Eurasian lynx and other lynx species. If the snow is deep and loosely packed, you may only see footholes punched into the snow with very little variation in the toes. Bobcats and cats in general have a method of walking called direct registering. This means that their back feet fall into the footprints of their front paws. This is sometimes known as diagonal walking. You will be able to notice this pattern in the dirt and in the mud as well as in the snow. Bobcat Scat Bobcat poop is 4 inches long and 3 quarters of an inch thick. The scat is segmented into links. The ends of bobcat poop are slightly rounded and sometimes pointy. The scat is usually solid segments containing some hair and fibers from their prey. As we have mentioned, tracking an animal can be done in many ways. Besides animal tracks, one of the easiest ways to know if you have a bobcat living near you is by analyzing the scat in your area. Bobcat scat can be easy to identify by the shape, size, and contents of the poop. Looking at bobcat poop may not sound like such a fun thing to do. However, the contents can tell you a lot about the animal, what they are eating, and how close they are to where you live. You may also be able to see if something is wrong with an animal if you find things like worms or parasites. Bobcats can have a lifespan that exceeds seven to eight years in the wilderness. In some cases, bobcats can live for up to 15 years in perfect conditions. In the wild, bobcats have to survive nature health conditions, age, accidents, and predators. Bobcats in captivity tend to live longer because of better living conditions and access to a veterinarian. Bobcat scat is dark brown or black. When bobcat scat is wet, it will be a slick brown or dark brown color. Wet bobcat scat could be a sign that one could be currently in your area. Wild animals like bobcats usually have an area where they do their business. These areas are called latrines. If you happen to come upon a bobcat's latrine area, you are going to be very close to its den. You will know you are in a bobcat's latrine if you find scat and smell a thick odor of bobcat urine. Bobcats make their dens in caves, rock formations, tree stumps, and more. It's not uncommon for bobcats to have multiple dens in their local region. These protected locations are imperative for bobcats because their population relies on having a safe location to dwell away from predators in the wilderness. What preys on bobcats? When most people think of bobcats, they consider them apex predators. They are near the top of the food chain. However, in areas where their territory overlaps with other apex predators, such as wolves, mountain lions, and other larger animals, they can become the prey. Bobcats can be eaten by predators such as mountain lions, wolves, coyotes, eagles, bears, fishers, and even humans. Bobcat kittens are the most at risk of being preyed on. Most large animals would not pick a fight with a grown bobcat because of the bobcat's ability to fight back. Some bobcats live in areas where their territory may overlap with other large cats such as mountain lions, also known as cougars and pumas, and the Canadian lynx. If their paths cross, this could result in a fight over territory. In many cases like this, the victor will eat the fallen cat. Some might consider this behavior strange since they are related to other cats, but in the wild, animals do what they must to survive. A bobcat is much smaller than a mountain lion. A bobcat weighs around 10 to 35 pounds, while a mountain lion weighs around 150 pounds. Both cats are carnivores 
and have an all-meat diet. Their territory overlaps in many parts of North America. Wild canids sometimes live in territories that overlap with bobcats. A fight between a wolf or another type of large canine would most likely result in the bobcat becoming the loser. Wild canids are usually twice as large as a bobcat. Wolves, coyotes, and bobcats are all territorial animals. Some types of eagles may be large enough to snatch up a baby bobcat. However, this would be a rare encounter. If bobcats could avoid it, they would not put their young in a situation where they would be in danger. Humans are probably the bobcat's biggest threat. While most people don't eat bobcats, they still hunt them and trap them. Unfortunately, many that are hunted become trophies, and the ones who are trapped are sold to the fur trade or into the exotic cat trade industry. Black Bobcats Melanism There have been reports of people seeing black bobcats. Bobcats naturally have some black banding and spots. However, some bobcats have more black fur than usual and can be partially melanistic and in very rare cases, completely black. Black bobcats have a gene mutation called melanism. Many animals in nature, and even humans, have this condition. In some species of animals, it is not so rare. However, with bobcats, it is very rare to see a completely black bobcat. It has been speculated that 20 black bobcats have been caught, killed, or observed in the wild. Melanism can be seen as the opposite of being albino. Albino bobcats are just as rare as melanistic bobcats. They appear to be almost completely white because of their lack of melanin. Both of these rare cats would be a sight to behold in the wild. Black bobcats can be found across North America. They have been spotted in California, Virginia, Alabama, and other states. Because melanism is a genetic mutation, any bobcat anywhere could be born with melanism. How to tell if your cat is mixed with bobcat. There are stories about bobcats and domestic cats as hybrids. However, no hybrid bobcats have ever been found and studied to suggest that they exist. Most cats that get mistaken for a hybrid are breeds that look similar to bobcats. If they have a short tail around five inches, banding or spots, then you may have a bobcat. Or it could be a similar looking domestic cat breed such as a Maine Coon. While science doesn't suggest that bobcat hybrids are viable, weirder things have happened. If a bobcat hybrid did exist, it would not be able to produce offspring due to being infertile. This is true for most hybrids in the animal world. So even if your cat was a bobcat hybrid, there would be no chance of creating a hybrid breed capable of producing a lineage. Bobcat Symbolism Animals have been used as symbols for as long as symbols have been used. Bobcat symbolism is indicative to the traits that bobcats possess, such as beauty, affection, confidence, and being stealthy. Humans have used zoo-type symbolism to represent a multitude of spiritual meanings, such as animal spirit guides, power spirits, and more. Bobcat symbolism means something different to everyone. Among Native Americans, some tribes thought of the bobcat as lucky, while others thought of it as a negative omen. If the bobcat is your spirit animal and totem power animal, then seeing the bobcat to me is a sign that you are in the right place at the right time. However, if you see a bobcat in the wild, you should not approach it. Bobcat mythology among the Native Americans can be found in many tribes who pair the bobcat with the coyote, both representing different elemental forces. The duality of the two can be found in many of their stories. Because bobcats are unique to North America, their symbolism, mythology, and stories exist in many parts of the continent. Many of the attributes that bobcats utilize can be found in the attitude and energy of bobcat symbolism. They are hunters, stealthy, brutal, quick, and precise. You can apply these attributes spiritually to your own spiritual advancements and studies. Take what you have learned here and meditate on them. Visualize yourself with that energy. If you connect with bobcats on a spiritual level, let them guide you. 
and take them serious when they speak to you. Symbolism and dreams go together so well because the subconscious mind operates with and understands the language of symbolism. What is veiled to us in our waking hours can be lifted in our dreams so that we may get a glimpse of something that is reaching out to us. Bobcat symbolism in dreams can mean many things such as being betrayed, being alerted to something wrong, and on the flip side, that something powerful is coming your way. Ultimately, it is up to you to interpret what these bobcat symbols and dreams mean to you. By analyzing our dreams, we can lift the veil and look a little deeper into our feelings and what is bothering us on the inside. If you have a bobcat spirit guide, listen closely to what they tell you in your dreams. Once you have made that connection with them, they are there to help guide you forever. Will a bobcat attack a dog? Bobcats are wild animals that prey on smaller animals. This means that if a wild bobcat were to come across a small dog or pet, you should consider the pets in danger. Wild animals are unpredictable, and even if they look cute or interesting, do not approach them and get your pets to safety. Because bobcats are territorial, they may see your dog as a threat and could attack. Chances are, if your dog is big enough, a bobcat is just going to watch them at a distance until they can maneuver around them to find prey that is easier to kill, such as squirrels and small game. While bobcats look like harmless creatures, they are dangerous to humans. They typically are not the type of animal that initiates contact. They will most likely not attack you unless provoked, but if you come across a bobcat, you will want to get to a safe location. What to do if you see a bobcat? Chances are you will never see a bobcat in the wild. We get to observe these majestic animals in sanctuaries that help rescue cats that are injured, misplaced by their family, or needing special attention. If you see a bobcat in the wild, you should not get close to it. Bobcats are dangerous, and if they see you as a threat, you could be put into a dangerous situation. You need to move away from the area as quietly as you can and get to a safe location, like inside of a vehicle. Bobcats can most commonly be found in forest biomes and sometimes near mountains. It is also possible to find bobcats in warmer climates as well. Deserts and swampy regions are some of the types of places where you might come across a bobcat. If you think you have come upon a litter of bobcat kittens in the wild, be especially careful. Bobcat mothers are very protective of their young, and if the mother is still around, you will be in danger. Bobcats have to leave their kittens for long periods to hunt, to feed the kittens, and make sure that their kittens have the best chance at survival. In most cases, kittens will not be abandoned, but will be waiting for their mother to return. If you think you have absolutely determined that kittens are abandoned, do not approach them or touch them. They can bite, scratch, and worse. You would need to get to a safe area and call someone who can handle wild animals and that have a history with bobcats. How to scare a bobcat. Many experts say that if you think a bobcat is nearby or has been coming around your yard, the best thing you can do is yell loudly. Bobcats are solitary and do not like human activity in the first place. Yelling at them will be a way for you to tell them they are not welcome. This technique is also used with some types of bears. When being stalked by a black bear, you should yell, Hey bear! This will alarm animals such as bears and bobcats, allowing them to move on and away from you. Learning how to scare a bobcat can be an effective way to keep them away from your property. Bobcat Characteristics Bobcat characteristics include several physical traits, as well as behaviors that they exhibit. They behave in ways that are similar to other wild animals, but also have a few traits that make them different. Bobcats communicate in many unique ways. The fur stands up on their backs when they feel threatened, and they will also stand sideways and hiss. They have several calls and noises that they use to warn others, call out to others, cry out for food, and more. Bobcats are known for making several different types of sounds in different situations. Most commonly, you might hear a bobcat meowing or growling. In some situations, you might also hear them hiss, howl, squall, or scream. 
Bobcats are extremely stealthy when hunting, and sometimes they make no sounds at all when trying to remain hidden from other animals in the wilderness. Other Bobcat characteristics include their ability to adapt. They have managed to survive in many different places, regions, and environments. Even with thick fur, they can still survive in warm areas in southern parts of the continent. The bobcat is known for its large legs, striped fur coats, and unique tail. Each subspecies is located in a different region and may have specific adaptations that allow them to survive. Bobcats can be recognized by their brown or red fur. On their stomachs, they have lighter fur colors and may have black-tipped ears. They are also known for having black stripes on their tails and a color pattern that aligns with the rest of their fur color. Bobcat claws are retractable, and this benefits them in many ways. They can clinch the terrain as they move across forest beds, boulders, and cliffs when they need to. It can also allow them to pounce around without damaging their claws. They are even known to sometimes climb trees. This unique ability allows them to escape from other predators quickly and sneak away from predators by hiding in tree branches. In many cases, bobcats can even sleep in trees, but they would much rather be in one of their dens. Bobcats are best known for their sly, stealthy, and elusive characteristics. These qualities have helped them survive for almost two million years. Despite their solitary behavior, they have had a connection with native peoples and have lived around and among humans since the beginnings of our recorded history. Is a bobcat a carnivore? Yes, bobcats are carnivores. Bobcats eat prey animals such as rabbits, squirrels, rodents, lizards, snakes, skunks, muskrats, beavers, ground nesting birds such as quail and turkey, as well as venison from small deer. In times when food is scarce, fewer kittens will survive, and many sacrifices have to be made to make sure the mother and at least some of the kittens survive. Many times in nature, we see that food sources can directly affect the populations of a species. If there is less food where a bobcat lives, fewer babies are born and even fewer will survive. From a regional perspective, bobcats live across various parts of North America in many different climates and regions. Can bobcats be pets? Bobcats do not make good pets. However, people sometimes rescue bobcats, rehabilitate them, and care for them. They do sometimes get raised as pets, and unfortunately they even get sold as exotic pets in some instances. Bobcats make a difficult pet because they are wild animals. To rescue or keep a bobcat as a pet, you will need to consider some things, such as a special full prey model diet, as well as the correct housing for them. Handling bobcats can also be very hard, since they will scratch you and tear up just about everything. Now that you know a few things about bobcats, let's take a look at a few frequently asked questions. What kind of animal is a bobcat? Bobcats are big cats from the lynx family. They are related to the Canadian lynx and the Eurasian lynx species. Although they are considered a big cat species, they are smaller than their lynx relatives. Do bobcats eat cats? Bobcats do not eat cats. They may be forced to fight a cat over territory, and in rare cases they may eat a cat if they are suffering from starvation. However, you should still bring your cats inside if you think there is a chance that a bobcat could be in the area. Can bobcats kill you? Yes, bobcats can absolutely kill you. They are unpredictable and equipped with enough muscle, claws, and power to do serious harm to you. You should never try to approach a wild bobcat. There is no doubt that these amazing cats have made their mark in the world. Even though they are one of the smallest of the big cats in North America, they hold their own and continue to adapt and survive. With human development, bobcats are being pushed in some of our urban areas. There are many bobcat sightings in neighborhoods and towns, which causes some alarm. Safety precautions, such as getting to a safe location and reporting the sightings should be taken if you spot a bobcat in your general area.
In the wild, these big cats have roamed the meadows and forests of North America for ages and have shown the world just how resilient they can be. We hope you have enjoyed this look into the secretive world of bobcats. Join us next time on Assorted Animals Wildlife Series.